Have you ever heard the term VoIP and wondered, what does VoIP stand for? What is VoIP? Is it an important skill for me to learn? And the answer to the last question is yes, you should learn about VoIP. And that's exactly what this video is about. You'll learn about VoIP and what it is. You'll learn how it's changed the way that we can communicate with each other. And I'll even show you how you can get started using it thanks to the sponsor of this video, 3CX. VoIP stands for Voice Over IP or Voice Over Internet Protocol if we expand it all the way out. And the voice part of communication is fairly easy to understand. It's the ability to communicate with someone using your voice. It's the IP part or the internet protocol part though, where the magic really happens when it comes to VoIP. Now to understand this, we do need to take a brief look at the internet protocol and how it's undergone some changes in the way that we use it since it was first developed. And I'll be brief, but this foundation will really help you understand the power of VoIP and exactly what VoIP is. So it's no surprise that something called the internet protocol is the way that devices on the internet communicate with each other. Anytime you visit a web page or you send an email or you watch a video like this one, underneath the applications that you're using, you have the TCP IP protocol stack that's moving things around. Now the TCP part stands for transmission control protocol, but we'll just stick to the IP part here, the VoIP part of it, and we'll see IP as being the way things communicate on the internet. And if you want more information on TCP IP or any networking topics, comment down below. I'm always happy to make more videos on networking and technology, but we'll stick with VoIP and IP in this video. Now in the past, the only thing that was moving around on an IP network was data. We had a dedicated network for data. We had a completely separate data for video, a CCTV system for security systems. And of course we had the big old voice network, the worldwide telephone system that carried voice calls. Eventually though, we started to create a data network that spanned the entire world by connecting the data networks together. And this interconnection of data networks was the internet. So now we had a global voice network and we had a global data network. You don't need to become an expert on any of this networking. Um, again, I'll make videos if you're interested. Chances are that you're just using apps like a web browser or an email client and a video player, the applications you know and love, and those are the ways that you're familiar with using the internet. You don't need to know what's happening under the hood, so to speak. But what if we could actually put our voice on the same network that we use for data without the need to have a completely separate phone system, a completely separate phone network. And this is a pretty big deal because now we could have one high speed converged network that has everything on it, meaning that we don't have to build or pay for separate phone networks. We don't have to run our phone system on a dedicated phone network. We could run our system using VoIP, voice over IP on our data connection. Effectively what we're doing is we're taking our voice and we're making it a data packet so that we can transmit data, voice and video all on the same network. Using voice over IP instead of a dedicated phone network opens up some amazing possibilities. Let's look at three things that I can do that I couldn't do with a plain old telephone system. First of all, it allows me to use any device with a speaker and a microphone as a way to place phone calls. You can get a dedicated VoIP handset, basically a specialized phone that plugs into an internet connection instead of a phone connection, but we can do more. We could download an app on our computer. We could use our computer as a phone. We could download an app on our mobile device. Instead of using a cellular voice network, we can actually use whatever data network we're connected to, including a wireless internet connection that would allow us to still make phone calls. This way we have one network and don't have to have dedicated phone networks. The second thing that VoIP can do for us is that we can use it for more than just voice. Because we're on a converged network, we can add the data that's coming on that network to the call that we're placing. 
Things like caller ID you may be familiar with, and that's just the start. We can actually connect the phone number to an entire set of data about a customer or a client. Have you ever called a pizza place to order a pizza and they know everything about your previous order? They have your name, they know your address, they know what you prefer to have on your pizza? Well, that's because they're probably using a VoIP system. When they picked up the phone, your phone number was connected to the data that is part of the network and they were able to pull that information from their point of sale system to know everything about you from a data standpoint and then have a voice conversation that was much more meaningful because the data about you was accompanying that voice conversation. That's a very powerful thing to be able to do. The third thing that we can do with VoIP is we can manage where calls are sent and received by configuring everything in the cloud through a cloud-based internet interface. We can have calls routed based on rules, we can add voicemail services, we can do call management, and a whole lot of other things. We can have all of these features that have complex setups that are easy to set up because we don't have to rewire and relocate devices. So for example, I could receive a call on my office phone, I could pick it up on my mobile device, and I could even transfer it over to my computer. This completely changes the idea of what it means to have your office with you. You're not stuck in a room because the phone's in that room. All your communications are unified. You have data with you and voice with you at all times. And there's even more ways that we can benefit from VoIP in this converged network environment. The sponsor of this video, 3CX, has services that can help you do all of these things, some of which are even free for you to use. You can go and try them out and become familiar with them, and I'll link some other videos that I've done down below. I did one on setting up a PBX, and I'll put that all in the description below. And as soon as we move voice services into a cloud-based VoIP provider, such as 3CX, we start to really open up the way that we can integrate our communication systems. Data, voice, video, all of these services can be converged. And it's also important to note that VoIP systems can still connect to the regular phone system. So if you're worried that by going into a VoIP system and using a VoIP system to do all your voice communication that you won't be able to call someone in a low speed internet area or someone that doesn't even have internet, don't worry. As long as you have a connection to the plain old telephone system, you can still connect and speak with people using traditional handsets. So it's really a converged network that still interfaces with the plain old telephone system for better communication experiences. Well, thank you very much for watching. If this video was useful, hit the like button. Let me know. Subscribe if you want more videos on learning about using technology more effectively. And comment down below if there's any other subjects around communications or networking that you'd be interested in learning more about. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.